Somebody once said that uh, democracy is more like a uh, mob rule, basically, um, where if 51% gets the vote out of 100% of people who are voting, 49 loses, and that's democracy. So these are the lessons learned. That's why in other democracies, you make sure that the minorities are being heard and it just doesn't go by the way of the wind or just because you've got a majority uh, rule and then things go by as a result you see it in um in the states they talk about the electoral college where cities with a majority or the most popular cities there don't have to um, throw their weight all around and everything goes their way because of that number. In other words, Northern Cape, up there in Uppington there, and um, the Houghton province with millions and millions of people, uh, if they then have to vote, then the Houghton people will then have to win by, by way of numbers. Basically, in our nine provinces, we would have, say, for instance, um, you know, maybe two representatives and also have to look at demographics uh, so that everybody is being represented. OK, so it's not happening. Um, I'm talking basically about the ANC majority that they're using in um, parliament continuously. The reports came through. Remember when they went to the Constitutional Court and got reprimanded about their voting for Jacob Zuma over eight times in Parliament whenever there was a motion of no confidence um, tabled against uh, President Jacob Zuma. The ANC caucus huddle up, get together and vote the same way. So whenever there were recommendations and court decisions and everything that will help them strengthen their way to say, hey, listen, you have to look at how the constitution works and, and this is what's been prescribed and going forward, this is how you can improve. You can uh, sort of give an independence to your members of parliament to be able to uh, use their conscience also as well as to be able to just follow the law of the land whenever they're executing um, their vote, upholding the constitution, affirming it and so forth. But that doesn't work. So it's continuing again. You've seen it. This member of parliament, Mervyn uh, Dex, wrote to the portfolio committee, uh, SCOPA, as well as um, the public protector Busisiwe Mkwevani regarding leaked footage of President um, Sarah Ramaphosa stating that, hey, listen, man, you can see there's a knowledge um, and information go going all around stating that the state uh, department's money is being used in order to fund us as the ANC candidates uh, running for ANC presidency and um, um, basically, I'm going to be the foot soldier of, of the ANC. God forbid the information comes out. I will be the one who's going to be taking all the slings and arrows on behalf of you guys. Okay? So now, the ANC booted him out. And then, subsequent to that, the Scopa wrote a letter to President Cyril Ramaphosa to explain himself, he wrote the letter, he says, I know nothing. I saw it in the media. I heard about this rumor in the ANC. Oh, these rumors were just uh, going throughout like a wind uh, within uh, the, the citizens of South Africa. Hey, there's under commissions, a whole lot of people were going out there talking about such issues. And then in the scope, obviously, ANC's majority uh six anc members and then four other political parties member the anc members um apparently for the first time they take such issues to a vote because 
the chairperson Kulelo Khengwa um, stated that they would like to have um, um, President Cyril Ramaphosa before them to just answer a couple of questions and later on the legal advisors okay of Scopa basically uh, well I don't think these are in independent advisors that comes out and wretched a whole lot of amount uh, like all these lawyers whom these political parties are always taking uh, with them to court in order to make a whole lot of money by the lawyers these are apparently the lawyers that are uh, stationed in the parliament so they are government lawyers giving advice and the advice was like wait for the third installment of the Zondo Commission um, series okay and then thereafter there would be an information with regards to what President Sir Ramaphosa was saying and we'll take it from there and um, so the oppositions in Scopa said no and then they and C said hey let's put it to a vote six to four in favor of the ANC again preventing president to come and account uh president mr transparency so it's not going to happen so once again the president shielded by the majority of the ANC vote sort of like three wolves and one sheep voting who to have for dinner okay the wolves one they're going to eat the sheep they call that democracy okay we don't we're not even putting an issue of grass on the table so that's just that again the mob rule continuing the only salvation would be um a government of uh, multiple political parties taking shape We'll see when that would happen. That's just my take. My name is Mamuji and thanks for watching the Mamuji Show and I'm out.